In the middle of a shutdown, the second full week of the government shutdown, and a new crisis is bearing down on the U.S. economy as well, that showdown over the debt ceiling. The market's in a slump tonight, the Dow falling 160 points. So we wondered, what else can you expect in your life and your pocketbook in these nine days before the big crisis on the debt ceiling hits? ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl now. D-Day for default is nine days away, but already the markets are spooked. The Dow down 900 points over the past three weeks, and it could get a whole lot worse by the middle of next week. Just look at what happened the last time Congress flirted with default. America's credit was downgraded, and the Dow had its sixth biggest drop ever, over 600 points in a single day. A huge hit to 401ks and college savings plans. Economists are also warning that as we inch closer, you're likely to see higher interest rates on new mortgages and car loans. Nobody knows exactly when economic disaster will strike, but the pain would begin with the fear of default before it actually happens. Insane, catastrophic, chaos. These are some of the more polite words. Warren Buffett likened default to a nuclear bomb, a weapon too horrible to use. Even so, some House Republicans say the warnings are exaggerated. It's a big deal, but it is not an economic collapse. Most economists disagree, warning Congress is playing with fire. And the impasse has already caught the attention of China and Japan, which together own $2.4 trillion of U.S. debt, and both warned today that the U.S. must deal with this issue quickly. But the divide between the two sides is as deep as ever. The president saying again today, no negotiations before the debt ceiling is increased, and Republicans demanding spending cuts first. What the president said today was, if there's unconditional surrender by Republicans, he'll sit down and talk to us. That's not the way our government works. Perhaps the only sign of progress today, or even hint of progress today, was that the President and the Speaker of the House actually spoke to each other. It was a phone call, lasted about 10 minutes, but Diane, after the two men hung up the phone, they were exactly where they were before the call, neither one of them willing to budge. All right, Jonathan Carl at the White House again tonight.